YouTube friends. It's Elizabeth J with an S. And I got an interesting mystery box in the mail. And I thought we could open it together and see what's inside. So recently I was watching Bag O' Day Crochet and she was opening a mystery box from Kramer Yarn and I thought it was an interesting idea because they sent some undyed yarns and I've been kind of toying with the idea of trying out dyeing. So I thought it would be fun and see if I got any undyed yarns and then it would be an interesting project. And also getting some yarn of value for, you know, a small price. So I paid $55 including shipping for the box and we'll see what the value of the yarn is when we're done. So let's open the box and get started. Okay, so let's see what's inside this box. It just arrived, so we can get it open and I'll just show you like, as I open it, just a, a sneak peek and then I'll take the yarn out, try to figure out what all that yarn is from the website. Okay, so the first thing in the box is, yes, I did indeed get some undyed yarn. I got three skeins of this um, bulky yarn, a number five weave. Um, let me pull that out so you can see it there. It is 100% wool. This is the um, Mouch Chunky yarn, and it's 200 yards in one... Um, skein. I got three skeins and they're $9.25 a piece. All right, the next one I got was this one, which is the Belfast yarn. It is a light yarn, a number three size yarn. And I couldn't exactly find this color on the website. So maybe it was a dye batch gone wrong or they've sold out this color, whatever. I'm calling it brown. They have very nice names for all their colors. So I don't know what they would have called it. But it is um, a bit darker than the rose appears to be on their website. So anyway, I got six, one, six skeins of this yarn, which is 220 yards. Each, it is a mix uh, 42% cotton, 22% linen, 20% viscous, 11% acrylic, and 5% silk. According to their website, it is $12.75 per skein. That one um, is a nice one. Then I got this one, which is their Fountain Hill yarn. It is an 80% acrylic, 20% mohair, and that you can definitely see there. I normally don't use yarn this thin, so that would, would be interesting. It is a fine yarn, a number two, and each of these is 560 yards, and I have six of them. This color, I'm calling like aquamarine. Again, I couldn't find this exact color on their website. It is, I would say, a bit greener than the slate and not as dark as their surfs up which are the colors that i thought it might fall in between so yeah so there's that this one is twelve dollars and 25 cents per skein and i have six of these all right the next three yarns all appear to be from the same line which is their Tatami Tweed Worsted. And I got three different colors of the yarn. So I have this one, which is the fireplace, and this one, which is the oatmeal, and then this one, which I think is the blue jean. I'm not 100% sure because it wasn't quite a color match, but then again, sometimes you can't tell with pictures on the internet. So this is the yarn. It 
is 40% cotton, 60% acrylic. It's a number four yarn for sure, which is why I think it's the worsted and not the DK size. It's definitely number four medium yarn. Each of these is 180 yards at $6.75 per skein. And for each of these three colors, I got five skeins. So that's a nice... Um, and the colors are really nice too. You can mix them together or do something separately. So they work really well together. I mean, I don't know if that was intentional or not. And then, some more of that one. The last two yarns I had a little bit of a challenge trying to figure out matching up. It is a little bit difficult, but I think I figured it out. And there's two colors in this one, which is the Perfection Sport. So Perfection Sport is 30% merino wool and 70% acrylic. It's a fine yarn in number two. Again, a bit thinner than what I'm used to, but I have done some crochet with yarns of this size, like for dolls and stuff like that. Each of these is 400 yards. And each for each of the two colors that I got, I got six uh, skeins. So this one I didn't see on the website. I'm calling it Sage. It's a little bit lighter than the olive, which is on their website. So it could be the dye job or whatever. This one I believe is the Admiral, which is on their website. It's like a royal or navy blue type of blue. And each of these is six dollars and seventy-five cents. Uh, so that was the box that I got. It was a 10 pound box. You can buy 10 pound or 20 pound and I think they just send you double. So if you buy a 10 pound box, you get one lot like this lot that I've just shown you. If you buy 20 pounds, I would have gotten just double of the same thing. I paid, like I said, $55 including shipping for the yarn. And if you go through and calculate the value of the yarn, it is $360, so I would say that it definitely is value for money. Now, obviously, I didn't get to choose the colors, and maybe some of the colors are not my, you know, cup of tea. If you go on the website and you see much, maybe some of the other colors are a bit nicer, or you have an idea for a project in a certain color. You can't do a project based on a mystery box, but certainly just to have the yarn and use it for something even some of the color combinations that they sent were really nice like i don't know how well these two go together i mean they could but there's so much yarn that you could do two separate projects and certainly some of the other ones work really well together so that is the box and what you have to do is they sell out of their mystery boxes really quickly. Like I just randomly happened to be checking their website and found that they had them. Like right now they're actually sold out. So you have to get on their mailing list or just randomly check Kramer Yarns website um, and click on the in the sh in the shop menu. Just look for mystery box and they'll if they're available they'll say they're available and then you buy one and uh, uh, along they come. So yeah, so that was actually not a bad thing. I might actually do it again just to see what I get because the value that you get is, is really good. Even with the shipping overseas that I had to do, it definitely was worth it. So anyway, see you around again next time.